In late summer, early fall of 2017, the team started to run into trouble. We had the waste of inventory, the waste of overproduction. The universal reaction was, we have to fix that. When you start to do lean, simply put, it's find a problem, fix a problem, keep it from coming back. The first step was to create a scale model, a 3D version of the facility. So this helped us understand from a bird's eye perspective, where are the machines situated? How did the parts travel around the facility? And we pegged yarn from process to process to process. And you realize if you start to trace the steps of the part, it traveled three miles. So we had to take the machines from where they are in a haphazard fashion and organize them in a way that the process points are next to each other. And then it's a matter of making what we call a line, getting those process steps next to each other in a certain configuration. So this is the old way we used to do things. As you can see, it's a little bit less organized. Our beginning operations are over here. Then you go all the way over there. There's not clear material flow, so you can't tell if you're ahead or behind schedule. The best part about the lean lines is it makes everything so visible. The line is clean, efficient, and organized, and you can tell that everything is running to schedule with a quick glance. When we set the line up, we went from three miles to 165 feet. And the bucket lead time went from 85 days to 49 days. In general, the inventory was cut by 50%, and that's proportional to the lead time reduction. The business impact is very significant. The purpose of the line is to expose problems. It's a forcing function to expose problems. It's so important to have a desk right on the shop floor, actually sit right here, because you can instantly respond to the problems that the line is having. It's a big change for us. We're on the line, we're troubleshooting, we're solving the problems. They press the button, I see there's an issue, and I can immediately respond, let them know if we need to write up a nonconformance, if we need engineering support. Everything's immediate, real time, on the line. When you start to do lean, you need to have everybody understand the way forward. We did six week-long action workouts last year, creating an environment that, that could embrace lean. It really just helps the team think differently about how to run a shop, eliminating waste, to how to think about you know setting up a line, you name it. And so that's kind of how we grew the core group of folks that have experience and knowledge working with all the different lean toolkits. Lean is all about eliminating waste. Almost every category of waste um, we addressed when we started to make that line. What Lean's kind of getting me to is the, the thought process of continuous improvement, right? So where am I at today? What am I doing better tomorrow in order to continue that journey? It's not, there, there's not an end game to it. It's, it's a continual journey to learn. 